Faco Emulsification, Wikipedia Article Audio Faco Emulsification is a modern cataract surgery in which the IS internal lens is emulsified with an ultrasonic handpiece and aspirated from the eye. Aspirated fluids are replaced with irrigation of balanced salt solution to maintain the anterior chamber. Etymology The term originated from FACO plus emulsification. Proper anesthesia is essential for ocular surgery. Topical anesthesia is most commonly employed, typically by the installation of a local anesthetic such as tetracaine or lidocaine. Alternatively, lidocaine and slash or longer-acting bupivacaine anesthetic may be injected into the area surrounding or behind the eye muscle cone to more fully immobilize the extraocular muscles and minimize pain sensation. A facial nerve block using lidocaine and bupivacaine may occasionally be performed to reduce lid squeezing. General anesthesia is recommended for children, traumatic eye injuries with cataract, for very apprehensive or uncooperative patients and animals. Cardiovascular monitoring is preferable in local anesthesia and is mandatory in the setting of general anesthesia. Proper sterile precautions are taken to prepare the area for surgery, including use of antiseptics like povidone iodine. Sterile drapes, gowns and gloves are employed. A plastic sheet with a receptacle helps collect the fluids during FACO emulsification. An eye speculum is inserted to keep the eyelids open. Preparation and Precautions Before the FACO emulsification can be performed, one or more incisions are made in the eye to allow the introduction of surgical instruments. The surgeon then removes the anterior face of the capsule that contains the lens inside the eye. FACO emulsification surgery involves the use of a machine with microprocessor-controlled fluid dynamics. These can be based on peristaltic or a venturi type of pump. Surgical Technique The FACO probe is an ultrasonic handpiece with a titanium or steel needle. The tip of the needle vibrates at ultrasonic frequency to sculpt and emulsify the cataract while the pump aspirates particles through the tip. In some techniques, a second fine steel instrument called a chopper is used from a side pour to help with chopping the nucleus into smaller pieces. The cataract is usually broken into two or four pieces and each piece is emulsified and aspirated out with suction. The nucleus emulsification makes it easier to aspirate the particles. After removing all hard central lens nucleus with FACO emulsification, the softer outer lens cortex is removed with suction only. History An irrigation aspiration probe or a bimanual system is used to aspirate out the remaining peripheral cortical matter, while leaving the posterior capsule intact. As with other cataract extraction procedures, an intraocular lens implant, is placed into the remaining lens capsule. For implanting a poly-IOL, the incision has to be enlarged. For implanting a foldable IOL, the incision does not have to be enlarged. The foldable IOL made of silicone or acrylic of appropriate power is folded either using a holder slash folder, or a proprietary insertion device provided along with the IOL. Research It is then inserted and placed in the posterior chamber in the capsular bag. Sometimes, a ciliary sulcus implantation may be required because of posterior capsular tears or because of zonular dialysis. Because a smaller incision is required, few or no stitches are needed and the patient's recovery time is usually shorter when using a foldable IOL. Charles Kelman introduced FACO emulsification in 1967 after being inspired by his dentist's ultrasonic probe. 
A Cochrane review seeking to determine whether glaucoma surgery combined with cataract surgery via phacoemulsification has any advantages over cataract surgery alone found that eyes that underwent combined surgery had a significantly lower intraocular pressure compared to eyes that underwent phacoemulsification cataract surgery alone. The authors note that this finding is not conclusive as the studies examined had many differences and poor reporting outcomes. A review of 16 trials seeking to compare the effectiveness of laser-assisted cataract surgery with standard ultrasound phacoemulsification found uncertain evidence suggesting benefits of one procedure over the other. A meta-analysis of more than 14,500 eyes and 37 studies found no significant differences between the two techniques in terms of visual or refractive outcomes or overall complications. Clinical trials comparing NSAIDs versus corticosteroids in the treatment of postoperative eye inflammation were uncertain but there was a some evidence suggesting patients treated with NSAIDs were less likely to develop cystoid macular edema.